Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last video we discussed about singleton descent pattern. How using multi-threading we can broke the singleton descent pattern and how we can save the descent pattern from the multi-threading, right? So in this video we will see how we can broke the singleton descent pattern, okay? Using serialization and how to avoid the serialization broken. How to save the singleton broken from the serialization okay let's see that so first let's see how we can broke that okay as of now i i am creating the object right as of now i i am ready with the object okay so let's try to serialize this object okay serialization is nothing but i'm going to pass this object via network to some other stuff and i'm going to retrieve back for example let me serialize what and then deserialization okay serialization is nothing but i need to convert this object into byte stream okay and pass through the network network means i am just uh, sending to some file okay and then i can read the i am going to read the value from the file okay let's see we are going to get the single or two okay let's see that okay basically uh, i am ready with the object right what I, let me do let me create a sample file right so let me go and create a file folder here okay so one file folder okay so the file having one sample file the folder having one sample file the name is sample let it be okay okay so now let me first do the serialization how we can do the serialization let me go file right so file object I'm, i need to create out so i need to pass the file path okay so file path let me copy paste it from here okay sample.txt so let me copy this whole stuff and let me paste it inside this okay so let me import the java.io okay so file is ready then second step i need to create a object for file output stream right so let me save as fos and new file output stream of i need to pass this file okay so the file location the file object i need to pass to file output stream that is fine uh, it is expected to add throws or throw okay file not found exception if something is missing compile time exception will give us okay then from here i need to go for a what is that object output stream right object output stream o oh, yes equal to new object output stream of okay so f o s yes it needs to pass uh, this is for your io exception okay so io exception is fine okay so then at last step i need to write the object write object okay so object one i need to write term. okay so object one is what the jdbc util okay so this is for the what is that object serialization okay so then let me do the deserialization and let's see that for deserialization what needs to be done so file input stream right so file we are having already right so so file we are having already so file input stream let me do it out fis equal to new file input stream of file okay then object input stream Okay, uh, object I yes, okay. New object in push stream of FIS, okay. Then how to read that? Uh, OIS dot read object, right? So read object, okay. So let me after reading, let me what I'll do. Uh, okay, so let me create a yeah, one more stuff, right? object 2 okay first let it be null then let me reassign to let me assign to object 2 okay 
so hope you understood what i am trying to and i am casting into jdbc as the read object is retaining the object i am trying to convert that to a jdbc util okay so what is there okay i need to add the throws class not found exception okay so here nothing it is very simple i have a object using i created using the jdbc util class right so second the dummy object i am going to assign this object after deselection okay so this is the file location i am going to save that i am just uh, writing the file output stream then i am going to read the file output stream then i am going to check so both having the same memory or not system dot out dot print ln let's try to print the hash code of that okay so let's try to print the object one okay so object one hash code okay object one dot hash code then let me try to print the object two of hash code let's see both this same or it's created two objects it <laughs> let's see that okay so i'm fine as of now let's try to run this okay before running so if i'm going to use the what is that serialization so that class should be serialized right so what basically we need to do we need to make sure that we need to implement the serialized implements serializable okay so see okay let me import that okay so i done that the serialization need to be imported okay that's all okay let's try to run this program now let's see see object is created only once that is fine uh, but if you see that it is giving both giving same reference how can is possible so streaming is okay so here i have to give object one so here i have to give object two right so i try to compare both same okay so let's try to refresh this okay if you see here so object one having the different hash code object two having the different hash code so after this deserialization it is it is creating the new object it is creating a new instance it's not going to use the existing instance instance right so like this we can broke so using serialization and deserialization it is very simple i am going to just implement the serializable for our jdbc util class and here i am just saving the i am just saving the object into file and i am just retrieving back from the file so it is nothing but serialization and deserialization after deserialization i can able to see that both is having different different instance it was created new instance so how to avoid this to avoid that basically what we need to do it out okay so in the serialization right in the serialization we have we, we need to add a method called read resolve okay so read resolve okay so this will not create a new object it will whatever object was already there it will just return back so before serialization whatever my object was there in the memory it will return that object after deserialization so after deserialization when we are trying to read that so whatever object was there before serialization that object will return the read result will return that that will maybe over override that okay so let's try to run this and see the difference between that two see now both object one and object two return the same hash code it means the same instance so now duplicate remove instances are not there only one instance is there right so how we achieved that we achieved using read resolve method it is very simple okay read resolve method what it will do basically it will just have the it will keep the memory of before serialization it will keep the value of that object and it will place the same object after deserialization that's all okay so this will take care of read resolve method nothing we need to do hope you understood how we can broke the singleton design pattern using serialization deserialization how we can resolve that how we can avoid the broken that as well right hope you understood thanks for watching thanks bye bye